we all know snakes can be kind of shifty, kind of dangerous, that reputation goes all the way back to biblical times. That wriggly fella in the Garden of Eden was a troublesome dude, but no matter how scary you might accept snakes are, there are some that are even worse than that. These are the deadliest snakes in the world. Number 15. Green Anaconda over the past few decades, the anaconda has become a thing of legend. A huge, terrifying beast that could kill any and all of us in a matter of seconds. But how strong are they, really? Well, you really don't want to mess with them, I can tell you that for free. When it comes to sheer size, no snake can beat the green anaconda. Pound for pound, this is the largest snake in the world. And while its cousin, the reticulated python, may be able to grow slightly longer, no jokes here, the anaconda still wins thanks to its huge weight. To put it simply, the anaconda is almost twice as heavy. Green anacondas can grow up to 29 feet long, weigh more than 550 pounds, and measure more than 12 inches in diameter. An easy win for the largest snake on the planet. See you in your nightmares, I guess. Luckily, the green anaconda is only found in the wilds of South America, so most of you are probably fine. Those of you that aren't, though, well, you might want to be careful when you go for your daily walk through the Amazon rainforest. If you actually do that, kinda seems like you're asking for trouble to me. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14, the black-necked spitting cobra. Spitting snakes? Gross. Actually, it's a little more than gross. Having a close encounter with a spitting snake is guaranteed to pretty much ruin your day. It won't kill ya, thankfully, but it will absolutely put you in a bad mood for your catch-up brunch with friends. Black-necked spitting cobras have a nasty attitude and an even nastier venom, assuming you're an unfortunate rodent. These snakes typically grow to a length of 3.9 to 7.2 feet in length, and they prey primarily on small rodents. And their method of hunting is as brutal as you're probably imagining. Like other spitting cobras, they can inject venom from their fangs when threatened. One drop can travel over 23 feet with perfect accuracy, but in humans, the mortality rate for untreated bites is pretty low. Unless you're really unlucky. Usually, the venom just mildly irritates the skin, but if it gets in the eyes... Well, in that case, you might want to say bye-bye to your sight. You probably don't have to worry about seeing one on the school run, since the black-necked spitting cobra is found mostly in sub-Saharan Africa. But rodents better beware. Once the black-necked spitting cobra sees a clueless little rat, there seems to be no method of escaping alive. May the odds ever be in your favor, little one. Number 13. Tiger Snake one of the biggest fears for many Australians is running out of barbecue food, but another big fear is coming face to face with a snake. And unfortunately, that's a pretty common thing in Australia, the land of deadly animals. Tiger snakes are a highly venomous snake species native to the southern regions of Australia. This species of snake is often banded like a tiger, hence the name, and of course, they are highly dangerous. In fact, between 2005 and 2015, tiger snakes accounted for 17% of reported and identified snake bites in Australia. Of the 119 victims, four of them ended up dead, an impressively low number given that the mortality rate is between 40 to 60%. Bitten victims may experience tingling, sweating, numbness, and 
and difficulty breathing, and that's if they're lucky. The unlucky ones, they end up suffering from paralysis and, well, we've already covered the mortality rate. While tiger snakes are usually ground-dwelling, they can swim and have been witnessed climbing small trees. So they're basically the terminator of the snake world, and that's why the tiger snake so often appears on a list of the worst snakes ever. And also why I'm so hesitant to visit Australia, no matter how much I really, really love barbecue. Number 12, Russell's Viper. The Russell's Viper is one of the most well-known and notorious snakes in the world. Could it be that they're also the most dangerous? Well, they're not the most dangerous, but we can't stop you from saying that. So hey, go to town on that one, my friends. For now, let's dive into what happens when a victim is bitten by a Russell's Viper. If you're bitten by a snake, the initial pain is followed by swelling and bleeding. Already, we're not having a good time, but I'm sorry to say the whole thing is about to get much worse. As the victim's blood pressure falls, the victim's heart rate also drops. From there, the symptoms really kick in, including swelling of the face, blistering, vomiting, and kidney failure. If the victim gets treatment quickly, many complications can be avoided, but for many, the severe pain will continue for several weeks. In some cases, it can lead to heart, lung, or kidney failure, which is almost always fatal. If you see a Russell's Viper, you should be very careful and keep your distance. This is one snake you really don't want to get bitten by, even nature documentaries often warn of this snake. Yeah, that's right, some of the world's bravest slash most stupid people know to avoid this thing. I rest my case. Number 11, Black Banded Sea Crate. If you're one of those snake haters who's also afraid of going underwater, allow me to introduce you to your worst nightmare, sea snakes. Sea snakes aren't just the stuff of horror movies. They're real-life animals that strike fear into the hearts of even seasoned divers and swimmers. Those who have had the misfortune to encounter the Black Banded Sea Crate won't be able to forget the experience anytime soon. Although it spends most of its time under the sea in coral reefs, humans are not free of risk. Generally, this snake won't attack, but if it feels provoked or even maybe threatened, it'll show you some pain. Its venom comes into effect very quickly and is ten times stronger than that of a cobra. To humans, it can even result in death, and you have to admit, none of that sounds particularly inviting. Fortunately, most people will never venture into the coral reef areas the Black Banded Sea Crate calls home, so in a way, the thing that keeps us from finding true adventure is also what keeps us safe. And that thing I'm referring to is good old-fashioned laziness. Who'd have thought being unwilling to make even the slightest effort would end up saving our lives? Not me. I don't think. That's, you know, too much effort. Number 10. Saw Scaled Viper if you're an average human, seeing a saw-scaled viper would understandably be an unpleasant experience, but it's not just regular humans that are afraid of the saw-scaled viper. Even experienced snake catchers fear the sea-scaled viper. And they're the experts! The saw-scaled viper is a venomous species that lives in parts of the Middle East and Central Asia. It's the smallest member of the four species of snake that are responsible for most fatal bites. The saw-scaled viper is known for its deadly venom, which has a mortality rate of about 20%. However, due to the availability of the antivenom, deaths are currently quite rare. The pain, however, that's what makes people so afraid of this snake. Within minutes of being bitten, most victims experience localized pain and swelling. And it only gets worse from there if left untreated. Hemorrhaging and blood clotting defects develop, which could lead to kidney failure and eventually death. The saw-scaled viper's venom is so potent that doctors have produced nine antivenoms to treat it. Nine! That's almost as many secret herbs and spices used in the KFC seasoning. Although I'm sure the doctors would willingly share the ingredients of the antivenom, let's see the colonel try and save some lives with finger licking chicken, eh? Number 9. Eastern Green Mamba 
The Black Mamba is well known as one of the deadliest snakes in the world. But what of the Eastern Green Mamba? Well, it turns out it's pretty much the same old story. The Eastern Green Mamba is a highly venomous snake, and its effects are well known. The Eastern Green Mamba is the most common and widespread of the three Green Mamba species, and it's also the least poisonous. But that doesn't mean it's a cuddly little thing. A survey conducted between 1957 and 1970 reported 2,553 venomous bites, 17 of which were from the Eastern Green Mamba. If you're lucky, the snake will only bite once, but nobody gets lucky because the Eastern Green Mamba likes to bite repeatedly, each one injecting between 60 and 95 milligrams of venom. So an encounter with one of these snakes is probably not going to end with adoption. Sorry to burst your bubble. We should probably consider ourselves somewhat lucky since this snake generally avoids humans? The only problem? Between September and February, they can be quite irritable to just about any living thing it encounters. And just ask those of us who get angry when waiting for food. Being irritable usually means somebody is gonna get hurt. Maybe it's time to cover ourselves with bubble wrap. Number 8. Coastal Taipan if there's one thing that many people know about the coastal taipan, it's that it's highly venomous. In fact, this snake is the third most venomous land snake in the world, according to most toxicological studies anyway. And I think they know what they're talking about. This species is native to the coastal regions of Australia and the island of New Guinea. But you don't want to know about its home, right? You want to know about how deadly it is? Easy answer? Very. The coastal taipan's venom contains typoxin, the most potent toxin from snake venom, making this snake the most venomous animal in the world. It's capable of killing even the healthiest of human adults, with death occurring as quickly as just 30 minutes after the initial bite. Thankfully, we have antivenom easily available today, which means death is pretty rare. But it's worth noting that untreated bites have a mortality rate of 100%, so that's fun. Even with the readily available antivenom, being bitten by a coastal taipan is obviously not an experience that anybody wants to go through. You'd probably have more fun and less pain from running headfirst into a brick wall. Again, we have to stress, do not run headfirst into a brick wall. It's really not worth the medical costs. Number 7. Beaked Sea Snake Getting bitten by a sea snake? Usually a good sign that it's going to be a very bad day. Getting bitten by a beaked sea snake? Well, that's an exceptionally bad day. The beaked sea snake kills more people than any other kind of sea snake. And by people, I mostly mean fishermen. The beaked sea snake is widespread in shallow waters all over the world, which perhaps explains why fishermen everywhere become their unfortunate victims. Sea snakes are usually not aggressive, but if they feel threatened, they quickly lash out and can inflict a serious wound. The beaked sea snake is no exception. When fishermen catch one of these sea snakes in their nets, they must be careful to avoid being bitten. Again, statistics claim that 90% of all sea snake bites are caused by the beaked sea snake. And that's all thanks to its venom. The beaked sea snake typically injects between 7.9 and 9 milligrams of venom with every bite. The lethal human dose is estimated at 1.5 milligrams. Need I say more? People just don't seem to realize how dangerous some animals are. There are still many who will venture out into the wild to find and collect one of these snakes to keep as pets. And I think we can all take a wild guess how that's gonna work out. Number 6. Rinkal Cobra Being one of the world's most venomous reptiles, a Rinkal Cobra can be a scary creature to encounter. Like most snakes, Rinkal Cobras don't think of humans as food and will avoid you completely if possible. But that doesn't mean we're out in the woods. Not by a long shot. The Rinkal Cobra is found in parts of southern Africa, and their diet is notably varied. The main prey for this snake is frogs, but it also eats small mammals, amphibians, and other reptiles. So what happens if a human happens to push all the right, or in our case, wrong buttons? 
Naturally, the snake is well equipped to handle the situation. When a ring cow cobra encounters a human, it will attempt to spray venom at the face. That way, if the venom gets in our eyes, the pain will be excruciating. Pretty great idea there. <laughs> Not for us, obviously. The worst part of all, there is currently no anti-venom to cope with the snake's poison. Thankfully, the Universidad de Costa Rica's Instituto Clodomiro Picado is working hard on a future anti-venom that can be used to treat injuries from the Rincal. The Rincal's reckless reign of terror is soon to come to an end. Well, maybe. Even with anti-venom, they can still make us cry like a baby. Number 5. Moav Rattlesnake The Moav Desert is home to a lot of dangerous animals. That includes the Moav Rattlesnake, arguably one of the most dangerous snakes in the United States, and maybe even the world. Yep, the Moav Rattlesnake is no joke, but what is it about the Moav Rattlesnake that makes it so dangerous? Pretty easy, it's the venom. The Moav Rattlesnake's venom is considered to be more destructive than that of other species. Symptoms can include anything from vision abnormalities and difficulty swallowing and speaking, to skeletal muscle weakness, difficulty breathing, and even respiratory failure. Yet somehow fatalities as a result of the Moav rattler bite are incredibly rare. That's mostly because antivenom is readily available, and if treated immediately, bites tend to be pretty harmless. If not treated immediately, however, well, the whole thing becomes much more of a gamble. But without the part where you win a million dollars, I guess, like all snake bites, a bite from a Moav rattler is more of a high-stakes game of Russian roulette. Will you live to tell the tale, or are you going to lose your leg? Or maybe both? Hey, what can I say? Life on Earth is always an adventure. Number 4. Harlequin Coral Snake in the classic theatrical sense, the Harlequin is a fun and unpredictable joker. In the snake world, not fun whatsoever. Unless you really like living on the edge of hospitalization. In that case, this thing is kind of a dream come true. The Harlequin Coral Snake is a highly venomous snake endemic to the southeastern United States. The harlequin coral snake can be found in a variety of habitats, which only makes them more terrifying. From dry, well-trained flatwoods and shrub areas, to low, wet hammocks and the borders of swamps, you can find them in pretty much all of the natural hidey holes in the wilderness. And unlike some other species, the terror is not just restricted to the natural world. Occasionally, this species can be seen in suburban neighborhoods. That's the making of some classic horror movie. Pretty terrifying stuff. If you approach a harlequin coral snake, they will usually flee to safety. If confronted, they will perform a distraction with their tail to save their own life. If grabbed or pinned, however, they will readily bite the attacker and won't let go until the predator is dead. Or at the very least quiet, which when you think about it is the same thing. Either way, this isn't gonna go down without a fight. Number 3. Ottoman Viper Be afraid. Be very afraid. The Ottoman Viper isn't like any other snake. It's one of the most aggressive in the world. Most snakes tend to be pretty shy until they're provoked or threatened, but that's not the way the Ottoman Viper likes to play. Not by a long shot. The Ottoman Viper is found in northeastern Greece and Turkey, as well as some islands in the Aegean Sea. But if you're hanging around random islands in the middle of the ocean, you probably already know the risks. I hope so, anyway. This species tends to prey mostly on rodents and other small mammals and birds, but it's known to attack just about anything it feels like. As I mentioned, this snake doesn't need any provoking to become hostile. If it decides you look like a pain in the ass, you can bet you're gonna become an unfortunate victim. And yes, every bite does contain quite a bit of venom. According to the IUCN, the Ottoman Viper is considered an animal of least concern, meaning it's nowhere near extinction. Given that it has a Fight Club-like propensity for fighting just about everyone at every opportunity, that makes quite a lot of sense. It's hard to be near extinction when your days are taken up with the efforts to make other creatures extinct. Number 2. Puff Adder 
Pretty soon, the Puff Adder is going to be known as the Piatti. Yes, my friends, it's your yearly P. Diddy joke. Was it worth the wait? Feel free to let me know in the comments how disappointing it was. Believe me, I'm already aware. The Puffer Adder, like that joke, is not particularly funny. According to records, this snake is responsible for the most bites and deaths in all of Africa. Let that sink in. All of Africa. The venom of the puff adder is considered to be one of the most toxic of any viper. 100 milligrams of this venom will be more than enough to kill a grown adult within a single day. And with a mortality rate of 52%, it's yet another fun game of snake-based Russian roulette. Will you make it to the next round of life? Spin the wheel, my friends. Clearly, the puff adder is not quite as cute and cuddly as the name may suggest, and we haven't even addressed the side effects of the venom. The vomiting, the edema, the hemorrhaging, the gangrene, the necrosis. Even if you don't know what any of those words mean, they sound pretty bad. And that pretty much makes you a doctor, so congrats! Number 1. Gaboon Viper there is no such thing as a non-venomous viper, but the Gaboon Viper, easily the most frightening of them all, in almost every single way, actually. The only terrifying trait they don't have seems to be a weird human face, and even that only feels like a matter of time. The Gaboon Viper is the largest viper in all of Africa, weighing over 45 pounds and reaching a length of over 6 feet. They also have the longest fangs of any venomous snake on Earth, measuring up to 2 inches. And they they have the second highest venom yield of any snake, except for the King Cobra. So again, to sum up, they are the world's biggest viper in almost every way, and they have enough poison to conceivably kill a human pretty quickly. That is, if they decide to bite, which apparently they don't do all that often. In fact, the Gaboon Viper is a naturally unaggressive snake. Bites from these snakes are rare, mostly because they're incredibly lazy. I can relate to that. However, when they do bite, that's a serious medical emergency, and if treatment is not immediately applied, it will inevitably end in tragedy. Not for the snake, but I think you already figured that. Are you a snake person, or has this video given you serious anxiety? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!